Well, we're here at uh, Schoon Palace again, heading down towards uh, this little walkway. We managed to cut across the grass, me and Corinne. Uh, we've come here again to visit the old graveyard, and uh, we're on the hard path now. We've done the little obstacle course, but uh, just have a little quick gander about. As you can see, we've just uh, did the little church yesterday uh, the day before, so we'll just head down this uh, pathway here, uh, and that should be okay. There you go. And then, if I just spin around a little bit, not too quickly, there's the car park down there. There's somebody taking some photos, which is Corinne, and there's the view over the hill. And This is the gatehouse area. Um, definitely, I think this has been bricked up. Uh, you can't get into the turrets, but uh, definitely there's some dress stone and some folding pinholes Ooh. around here, as you can see. <laughs> so I don't know whether they dropped in here or whatever. No idea. There you go, folks. Cheers. This is the um, this is the grave, which is uh, backs onto the uh, Schoon Palace. Uh, it is mentioned there's a Commonwealth War grave here. Uh, you have to be a little bit careful in here. Um, funny, I don't notice any stakes and blue banding where they mark other graves in case you get knocked over etc um, which they you know vandalize um, the walls falling down there by the looks of it and it's all braced up um, evidently that's why the wood is on the outside to keep people away from that area um, very old stones but as you say since this has been in a family generation for about was it five or six hundred years yeah, so yeah five or six hundred years it's been in the family house so these are some of the nice grey stones with some nice, I call them white bells, but the snowdrops. Um, some very ornate uh, stuff here. Uh, just be careful. Oh, well, okay. um, so, there's one or two graves. We'll see how far we can get and see how far we can do. Okay, but um, this is ooh, 1872. <laughs> Uh, a mason, a new, new schoon in memory of his wife, Elisa. Anyway, I won't read them out more, but uh, some 1857s and various other bits and pieces. Cheers all. Right, we'll leave the uh, graveyard uh, in peace. The sun's breaking out. It's about 11 degrees and it's Sunday the 19th, I think. I'm not too sure about wind on this camera because I haven't got a little muff for it. Um, very old graveyard, um, 1700s, I've just noticed one or two. You can't read them very well, and you can just see the castle in the distance in there. Evidently the wall is needing repairing. Uh, the other side has broken and fell down, I reckon. That's another way, but it's not exactly priority to repair, is it? Anyway, there's some excellent trees here, as you can see. Uh, certainly close to, I would think, 100 feet if not uh, more, but um, it's a cool wind, but uh, it's enjoyable. I've still got a t-shirt on, on my jacket, and uh, Corinne's only got a little top on. There you go, Bab. And she's just got windy eyes. Just uh, <laughs> yeah. windy eyes, we've got no tissues with us. And, uh, and there's some more of the snowdrops. But I'll try very hard to keep the camera steady. But, uh, oops. But yeah, some nice uh, snowdrops. And there you go, folks. So, uh, have a glorious Sunday. Cheers. There's a little thing, just part of the graveyard, little round turret. Um, I don't know whether this was used as anything because of the small defences. Because, evidently, when this was built, uh, these trees weren't here, of course, uh, to obscure. Uh, you, you, I think. Um, so they weren't here, but you can walk inside if you're careful. Um, 
bit of graffiti, it could be a bijou toilet. Uh, so, whether there was uh, something in there, I can't see any steps or anything, but you don't know what was in there, if anything. Anyway, a bit weird, but you never know what was in there. Anyway, unless it was just one of those little follies. And there we go, back out. Cheers. Have a little look in tree. Uh, the Scone Douglas fir, because uh, the Douglas fir was brought in by this family. Uh, is it? I don't know what the family's name is, uh, and Schoon. Um, but uh, it was uh, Douglas, his name, and he brought the first fir into this country. Uh, and this is in recognition of the 50 greatest trees. And, and it is one bit of a monster. Um, as you can say, that branch is uh, as wide as me. Um, you can never get the full, I can't get to the full height anyway. But that's one big tree. That's one big tree. Well, for us it is anyway. So there you go. First to bring in this country a few hundred years ago. Uh, it's not too tall, but uh, it's tall enough. There's some nice trees here, some very, very good trees. Well, that's an important one, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's very rare. <laughs> Castle, uh, just because you've got a zoom, you don't always use it. Anyway, heading back to the car, little walk, cheers folks. Another little walk down there, can't get much of a picture because we're going over a bridge, but there's a little brook down there, and uh, that's another snowdrop walk. And then we come to the bridge up here, as you can see, and uh, I'll just check, go across here while filming while we come out so we go across this little bridge um, on the side um, so there's little walks on the side not so much you can see over there but hey ho through the car and then you have a long drive out of here must have been nice to have money in the day <clears throat> there you could um, have all this lovely magnificent gardens um, the cattle grid. Um, still a fine uh, load of trees here. Um, you can see that a bit better. So this is um, School Palace. Uh, been in the same generation for quite a few years. And I've got a lovely set of grounds here. Uh, I'm Charlie Rohan.